Hi everyone, in this video we are going to use synthetic division to find the quotient and remainder. So find the quotient and remainder if 2x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed minus 2x minus 8 is divided by x plus 3. So we're going to work this out and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is a useful problem. Synthetic division is very powerful. So the first thing you want to do is switch the sign. So solution, SOL means solution. So I'm going to put a negative 3 here like this, a little bracket. We want to write down the coefficients. So you start with the 2, the 5, and then here's the tricky part. There's a 0. You might say, where does the 0 come from? Well, that's from the invisible 0x squared. So you have to write down the coefficients of all the powers of x, including the one that's not written because the coefficient is 0. Then minus 2, and then minus 8. And then you draw a line. The first thing you do now is you bring this number down. So 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then you add, so you get negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Adding negative 2 and negative 9 gives us negative 11. And then negative 11 times negative 3 is a positive 33. When we add negative 8 to 33, we get a 25. And this is the remainder. Okay, so the quotient, I'm going to call it Q of X. Okay, the quotient in this case is going to be, well, basically you want to start at 1 less. So this is a 4, so we're going to start at 3. So it's 2 times X cubed. And then you just go down in powers. Minus 1 times X squared, which is just X squared, plus 3X. Okay, minus 11. This is going to be the quotient. Okay, this is the quotient. All right, and then the remainder is r equals 25. So this is the remainder. Let me show you what this is actually for because I think that sometimes people don't know. So it didn't ask us for this, but let me just, let me just show you something really powerful. So we have the quotient and the remainder um, if you know, this is divided by x plus 3. We have the answer to the question. So what is the purpose of this? So let's say we have this divided by x plus 3. So this is 2x to the fourth plus 5x cubed minus 2x minus 8. And all of this is being divided by x plus 3. Okay, so this is equal to the quotient. So it's q of x plus the remainder, r of x, over the divisor, which we can call d of x. So this is equal to q of x, which we already have. So this is going to be 2x to the fourth. This is by the division algorithm. It shows that um, things exist and they are unique. I don't know why I wrote it so high up. I uh, actually wrote down the wrong thing. But let me just fix that. So this is actually the quotient, which is right here. I was just writing this down for some reason. 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 11 plus the remainder, which is 25, over the divisor, which is right here, right? x plus 3 is our divisor. This is our little d of x. So little d, little d of x is going to be x plus 3. That's our little d. And, you know, you can write this like this. So the, the idea is that this is, more, this is more complicated than this. And it certainly is. If you had to differentiate this, for example, if you know calculus, you'd have to use the quotient rule, and that's no fun. This is very easy to differentiate. It takes, like, two seconds. And same thing here. You can bring this upstairs. It's super easy. You can probably do most of this in your head once you're really good at calculus. So no big deal. But this, this is harder. So you take something that's complicated, and you basically make it more simple. So that's the idea uh, behind uh, synthetic division. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you this. It's pretty cool. Um, I hope it's been helpful to you. Take care.